Hey everyone and welcome to another devlog. Since the last video I've made a few changes but in this video I'll be focusing on the player's new primary attack. It's far from complete but I thought I might show it now and see how you guys respond. There'll be a few questions on screen at the end of the video and if you could take the time to answer at least one of them in the comments it would be much appreciated. I've removed the targeting system that you may have seen in older devlogs and replaced it with an auto aim feature. Now the Toast will automatically lock on to and follow the closest enemy to the player. I made this change because the new attack has a little more to it and I didn't want the targeting and combat to be overly complicated or hard to get the hang of. I am worried though that this might make things a bit too easy but I can make the switch back at any time. The Toast is controlled mainly by two enumerators which are being used like state machines. One enum controls the charge of the Toast, charge 1, 2 or 3 which will make more sense soon and the other controls the state of the Toast going away, coming back, or ready to fire. I started out by getting the direction from the player to the closest enemy. Using that direction vector, I was able to move the toast back and forth between the player and the targeted enemy. I then combined an upwards facing vector with the target direction and adjust its direction over time. I ran into some cases where the toast would get stuck chasing the player, but a few small changes fixed that. With the basics out of the way, I moved on to making it more interactive. The main mechanic is inspired by the catching mechanic in VLAN Studio's dodgeball game, Knockout City. Each time you shoot the toast and catch it, the toast will become charged and a short timer is started. If you manage to shoot the toast again before the timer runs out, the toast will maintain the charge, travelling faster and dealing more damage to enemies. There's a small buffer to help out in case you press the attack button just before you catch the toast. If you manage to land a hit with max charge, the charge will be reset back to the default charge level to prevent the toast from staying at max charge for too long. This might sound like a lot, but it can really be translated to if you shoot fast, you do more damage. Besides the changing trail color or the temporary text in the top right of the screen, there isn't much letting you know which charge level the toast is currently at. Depending on the response this new attack gets, I'll add more visual elements to make it clearer and polish it up a bit. I know that the red cubes don't fight back much, but I hope you can get a glimpse of what it might be like to dodge projectiles from moving enemies and timing the toast shots simultaneously. If it wasn't obvious, this whole mechanic is very open-ended at the moment and not much is set in stone. I can still take into consideration any changes or ideas you guys might have, and that was the main point of this video. I hope you enjoyed this devlog. If you did and you'd like to see more content like this, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and take care.